large language models have excelled as high level semantic planners for robotic tasks but whether they can be used to learn complex low level manipulation tasks such as dexterous pen spinning this remains an open problem there have been a lot of existing attempts which require substantial domain expertise to construct task prompts or learn only simple skills and this leaves a substantial gap in achieving human level dexterity this is where this new research by nvidia has unveiled eureka eureka is an ai agent built on gpt4 that autonomously generates reward algorithms for training robotic systems it has showcased this by enabling a robotic hand to perform rapid pen spinning tricks at our level comparable to human expertise and you can see that in this video which is present on this github repo for a human it's a very trivial task but for a robot it's not an easy task and performing it through ai and a model really takes some doing in terms of resources code and training now uh, i will share the link of this github repo in video description so that you can read along there are a lot of cool things around this eureka too let me quickly show you first there are some installation steps you can install it locally but you would need open ai's key because right now it only works with open ai and you have to pay them a monthly fee to use that key now installation is pretty simple the first thing you need to do is to install conda and they have tested it on ubuntu 20.04 and the latest one 22.04 once you have conda installed create a virtual environment for eureka and then install this isaac gym which is a simple package to install through pip once that's done you, you can just simply clone this github repo and then install all the requirements and then start your eureka and you should be good to go and as I mentioned earlier, you would need to set your open AI API key in your environment. Once that's all done, you can get started by simply running this Python command. And that is where you would specify the environment where you will be performing the task, number of reward samples to generate per iteration, and then number of Eureka iterations you can run with it. They also have a very cool website where they have multiple demos and especially the images from this Eureka pen spinning gallery. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the traditional uh, models like these, they rely on labor intensive human written reward functions. And this is a typical reinforcement learning from the past era, I would say. Eureka's automated generation capability signifies a real major advancement in reinforcement learning. And that removes manual overhead and increasing an increased versatility in task coverage. So there are a lot of uh, things you can learn from this uh, website. For instance, <clears throat> if you look at this code example, you would see that one of the major feature of this is versatile learning it is compatible with multiple robot types it has been trained in 30 complex tasks like dexterous manipulation and dynamic balancing it has also outperformed human authored reward in 80 percent of tasks 50 percent average performance boost and it has been benchmarked against open source dexterity matrices and you can see in this example how dexterity it is uh, spinning this pen very easily and this is what i was talking about around reinforcement learning another cool thing is that um, this eureka runs in gpu accelerated isaac gym for quick parallel evaluation of reward candidates if you're not aware of what isaac gym is isaac gym is primarily nvidia's um, platform to do some real cool things around um, physics simulation and they released it i think in a couple of years ago and in this physics simulation environment you can do reinforcement learning research and with the help of this isaac gym 
as per NVIDIA. RL based training is now more accessible as tasks that once required thousands of CPU cores can now instead be trained using a single GPU. So that was huge. And so this Eureka has been trained in that environment. Now, going back to the features which um, I obtained from this website, there are a lot of other things which, have, which they have done around evaluation. So I was saying that they have already outperformed a lot of benchmarks. And another cool thing is that they, this Eureka also incorporates human feedback without task specific prompting or predefined reward templates. Another thing which jumps out is that um, so this was a human feedback I was talking about. And then uh, in this topic, another thing which jumps out is that this Eureka algorithm worked with NVIDIA Isaac Jim, and it is quite cheap to run as compared to the other platforms, which is really good for the future reusage of this technology. If you're interested in reading the detail of this paper, then they also have this available here, the abstract, which you can read with all, uh, and kudos to all of these researchers. Plus this is the full paper, which you can read through. Uh, and I would highly suggest that if you are into this research, then read this because it is very nicely, nicely written. So that's pretty much it. I hope that you enjoyed it and um, are ex as excited and impressed by this pen spinning by the model as I am. If you have any questions or any thoughts, please share them in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.